Um, so next we have our second place winner, um, Dr. Erica. Hey, 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 family. Listen, I'm truly excited to be here, to be a part of this great collaboration, this poetry group, the power, you know, using our voices to raise awareness. And listen, I just want to say that this, this contest gave me a, a second chance. I usually don't get involved with contests. I usually don't push it. I usually get nominated for things and just let it go. But this is the first time that I got some skin in the game. And I'm truly blessed and honored to be a part of it because listen, like you said, we fought a good fight. Yeah, I was in here fighting. <laughs> But then when I saw my queen, I saw my queen, I said, Lord God, I I succeed. I couldn't I concede to her because she she did it. She came out of nowhere to almost 300 votes. I said, Oh Lord God, we thank you. We thank you for her. And I begin to celebrate you. So thank I you. thank you. And the poem I'm gonna read is coming from my first poetry book called Aries Joint. The words of a tantalizing prophet. I'm gonna put this phone down so I can read it and I titled this poem, I Can't Breathe. All right. Hey, officer, I can't breathe. Can you please kindly release your knees that's preventing me to breathe? Hey, officer, I have complied with your every command. Can you please explain to me why you are treating me like a hostile barbarian? Hey, officer, I don't have anything on me that can harm you or me. I'm just trying to comply so we all can make it home safely. I'm sorry that the color of my skin is the first and only thing that you see because we both already know you're not in fear of me. You just want to erase the fact that I exist and you got the power to control 